file for module H API. Okay, so let's add the, the typings for that. So npm install type slash H API, save def. So that should add the types. What else? Parameter request implicitly has an any type. Okay, it should be something else. Okay, and cannot find name logger because we didn't add the logger. So let's import uh, as logger from Winston. So we have Winston logging here. Cool. And let's run. No, not int. Let's see the compiler. Oh, compiler says it's good now. Well, that was easy. But I didn't fix this problem. <laughs> oh well, it seems to be okay. Well, it fixed itself. So let's let's now run the server. npm run start. We should have a server running on port 8000. It's saying it, it's running, but let's try it. Localhost 8000 on my browser. Yes, status code 404, error not found, message not found, because we don't have a route for this. What do we call it? Test, I think? Yes, test one. Cool. So we have TypeScript, we have an HAPI server here, and we have <laughs> sort of an API without any documentation yet. But we're well on our way to be doing the actual API we want to be doing. So what we want, because we already tested Chromeless, so the next thing would be just to implement Chromeless on an endpoint. I think that's a good way to go forward, I think. We can implement an endpoint with HAPI that's actually going to do this this stuff so we would get a payload and then we would get a response with the uh, link yeah we can try that but um, let's commit at this point so we don't forget I'm adding so many windows so let's see what changed package log stuff no I don't I'm not interested in that okay so this is our next CS file async function start so this is what we did we added the server it looks good and then started it fine what's that good and we have to let's add the file that we renamed as well just to keep it in there let's call this implemented basic HAPI server push okay that's good so next Let's implement an endpoint that will use Chromeless. Right, so we have our index file which starts the server, which is nice. So let's now add, let's call, let's not call this a source, let's do features. Where do we put our features? We can put them in util, utilities, and move the Chromeless that test stuff there. Yes. And let's actually just call this Chromeless. And we want to implement, oh, move Chromeless test to Chromeless.ts. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to implement just a function that actually, we don't want it to run right away. We just want it to return this screenshot URL like this. And it should be an async function. And we want the Chromeless to end its session right there. Async function run, let's call it something else. Let's export it. Let's call it screenshot URL and it'll take in a URL which is a string. And then we will have it here. Go to URL. Mm, okay, this seems good. Uh, we should have some logging going on here as well. So let's do this. Let's have uh, logger dot log visiting URL. And I forgot to do the template again. But just to kind of see what it's doing here would be nice to have something like this. Something like that. Let's have it there. And then it should just. Let's do info, not log info. And uh, let's have it say, taking a screenshot and dot, dot, dot. 
launch Chrome. This is good. I like this file. I think this should be okay. And let's run the linter on this. So we're not doing anything stupid. I keep forgetting the exclamation point. Statements not aligned. 11 and 13. Uh, why is that? Because I have a semicolon. I don't want to have a semicolon. Let's try it again. It should be good. Let's have a look at the chat. What's going on in the chat? Oh, it fixed itself. Very common with NPM. I agree. <laughs> that was actually something with TypeScript, if I remember correctly. That was the compiler complaining about the wrong type. But I guess something with, uh, well, looks good. Where are you working? Yes, this is Futurist. This is the Thumbress site. Uh, if you saw the, uh, I'm going to switch to that camera for a moment. So this is where I live. This is Thumbra. Which is quite nice. That's the bridge. That's the Finlayson area there. You, ac you actually used to have the same view in the uh, 20 mark uh, money back in the 90s and before that, which is nice. And this is a really nice scenery. But yeah, I love working at Futurist, at Thummer Force. Yeah, let's go back to the uh, coding. <laughs> All right. Does someone know any good and up-to-date tutorials online for setting up a TypeScript development environment. I actually don't know. I would just go on YouTube and have a look. That would probably be a good idea. I would just go to TypeScript or something. Yeah, uh, I mean the TypeScript organization website. So Microsoft probably is going to have pretty good documentation. I'm, I haven't done that much TypeScript yet, so I, I haven't set up my own environments very often yet. So I can't claim that I'm very good. Good uh, tutorial guy for that. But okay, so this should be fine. Um, we now have a util called Chromeless, which is exporting a uh, function called screenshot URL. Right, so what we can now do is we can import it in the index.ts file. And uh, we have a Vim session here, so let's close that. Let's close this window, we don't want this, okay. So let's implement a new route and let's just call it uh, PDF. And we're going to want to post something for it. And we have a handler which takes in request and reply. Um, we should probably uh, implement the handler. So let's implement it here. So let's call it the PDF handler. Function. And it's going to be async. PDF handler request, reply. And what it's going to do is it's going to return reply something. Do, do, do. Okay, um, replying with test, and that's and we can now probably just call this handler as just PDF handler. Not semicolon, comma. No, why am I doing that? Let's run the linter and let's see if it works. Test. Well, it's still giving me a test one, which it should. Let's change it so we can see that it works. Let's do test two. But no, it's still test one, which is because we're not restarting the server, which we should be doing, because we're now running the server here. But now that we're making changes, we're not actually reloading those server files, that those JavaScript files. So what we have to do, we have to install a tool called Nodemon. What Nodemon does is, is it's kind of the same as what the compiler does with your source files, but with Nodemon, you're just running some command with it. So, I'm going to demonstrate it for you. So, I'm going to do Nodemon watch uh, distance source. So, this is where our server go to, goes. And then we're going to execute dist source and index.js. Right, we don't have the binary in our path. I should really do something about that. <laughs> Permission denied. Why is that? Because yeah, I'm not running node. Node. Okay, there we go. And now we're running it with nodemon and hopefully now if I make a change, let's do another change. Let's have change test three. 
node mon should yes it's telling me I did a made a mistake somewhere did I I don't think I did what happened chromeless.ts expected oh it's a different file I have a, an error in my chromeless.ts file npm run lint It was 13 screenshot. Oh, I forgot to have a, uh, there we go. I forgot to close my braces and that was it for now. Yes, as you can see, Node1 has restarted quite a few times now and it should now be loading the newest code. So 404, okay, why is that? Let's go back to index. PDF handler for, oh, because I changed it to post PDF. Right. Well, let's set, test that endpoint then, and we have to do that from the command line, because you can't actually just go ahead and post something from the browser. Well, not easily, you can, but it's not that easy. So let's just go curl, and I, um, we'll use post, and HTTP localhost, and port is 8000. Whoa not found not found and we are using the PDF endpoint okay test 3 it's working awesome now we have an API that's receiving a post request now let's go back and change it to our new handler so let's import the uh, chromeless handler import everything as well let's just get the uh, what was it called again let's add a new window here let's open the chromeless util because I think we're gonna need it to quite a few times. So let's import just the screenshot URL function from, from our own file called util and chromeless. Looks good. And now we have this function in our scope and let's await screenshot URL, some URL. Let's get the URL from the request payload. So we're, we're supplying it with something. So it's probably going to be something like request. Uh, URL from request payload. Right. And now it should give us a warning if we, we're not giving, 